All right, uh, now I'm going to show you just how to fill in big cracks like this. As you can see, that's just way too big. You don't want to put your tape and just regular compound over a gap that size. You want to uh, mix up some sheetrock 90 and uh, fill that cavity up, any cavities that are, are big like that, uh, before you would uh, use your compound and your tape like I, I did up on those flat joints. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to uh, fill in a big gap like that. So as you can see I have it mixed up. I forgot to show you how to mix it up but um, you just want the consistency to be like that. If you hold it like that it's not going to slide off of your hawk. So just mix up a little bit at a time because this uh, this compound dries rock hard within about 90 minutes. So uh, don't mix up more than what you're planning on using. So you just want to fill that cavity up. Just squish that in there. And there, as you can see, that uh, cavity is pretty well filled in and uh, it'll just uh, dry rock hard. You won't have to worry about that shrinking or anything. And then after it's dry, just lightly sand it and you can uh, go ahead and put your tape back or put your tape on with your regular compound. As you can see here, another really terrible uh, gap. Um, I didn't drywall this job, um, my friend did. I'm just doing the uh, mudding, but uh, you can see that's about uh, maybe half inch or even a bit bigger. Um, so once again, just with your uh, sheetrock 90, you just want to fill up that cavity, uh, let it dry, get rock hard, it won't shrink, and it'll give you a nice corner that you're able to put your tape over top. So once again, just with your sheetrock 90, you just want to get a good healthy amount on your drywall knife. Just go a bit heavy. Then take your knife and just smooth it out. And there, that's all filled in. Uh, it's super important to always do that step. Uh, if you just use regular drywall compound, it'll take forever to dry, like weeks and weeks uh, before it would, the moisture would be all out of it in order to put the new tape on. And if you don't do that and use regular compound for a gap like that, and you go and cover it with the tape, it'll guarantee, um, I guarantee it'll bubble and all the tape will be just bubbled because that moisture will be trying to get out once you seal it up with the primer and the paint. So always go ahead and put that sheetrock 90 in. It's worth the step to uh, make sure you do it right. Another thing I like to do with the sheetrock 90 is uh, cover all the screws with uh, just one coat of the sheetrock. Uh, it'll just give it a nice hard base then you can go over top with your compound after. So you just want to cover it with a little dab and then just smooth it out. And just 
just go along and cover all the nails like that. So all of the big spaces, then they'll be ready for putting the tape on in the morning. Just want that to dry nice and hard now. <laughs> 